Hey guys, welcome back again. This is Carlos from the Institute of Mystical Arts. Today we're going to go over the, um, the next part of, uh, it's actually the second half of the first section of Tears in Heaven. So last time we, um, I'm going to play briefly what we learned last time so that we can tie it to the next little section, okay? This is what we did last time. That's what we did last time. Now uh, we're going to tie it from that point. We're going to take as our reference point our last chord that we learned, which is the D. And we did this. After that, we're going to play right here. Our finger number one from the D stays there. And our finger number two is going to go right underneath it, just like we did in the beginning when we did this. They're going to go in this same position. And we're going to play the fifth string with our thumb and then the second string with our middle finger like that and then we're gonna play our our ring finger is gonna play the second string again but we're going to release this finger and play the second string open it's gonna sound like this I'm gonna play it on the I'm gonna show you the left hand first So they're right here. And now the right hand is going to do this. Play the fifth with the second. And then the second again with the ring finger. So it's going to do this. Bam, bam. First thumb on the fifth, middle on the second, and then the, the uh, ring on the second by itself. look right here then after that we're gonna do a half bar right here on the second fret it could be three or four strings according to what uh, feels more comfortable to you and then finger number three is gonna go on the fourth string fourth fret and we're gonna play with our thumb and our index on the fourth and third strings respectively and then the middle on the second so fourth and third is gonna be thumb and index and then middle on the second. And remember, this finger is right here on the fourth string, fourth fret, and then a half a bar on the second fret. So we are coming from doing this. Last thing we learned. And then today we start right here. Thumb in on the fifth, middle, and then we release and we play with the ring finger on the second. And then we go to our bar fourth and third and then middle on the second and then from here we go and place our fingers this way finger number two on the fourth string second fret finger number one on the third string first fret and on our right hand we're gonna play the thumb on the fourth and the middle on the second and then our index on the third and we're gonna do thumb and middle together and then index and then we're gonna do middle alone without the thumb index so it's gonna go like this remember only play the bass the first time and this position stays just like that these two fingers okay so tying it together from our last chord From this position that we're in, we're going to add this finger right here on the second string, second fret, and then we're going to play the finger number four, four on the um, third fret of the second string, okay? On the right hand, after we do this, 
clockwise, which we already talked about. When we add this finger right here, we're going to jump with the thumb to the sixth string, and our middle finger will continue to play the second and then the third with the index. Just like we did in the last two before. Look. Middle index, middle index, and then we just change the the uh, the bass from the fourth to the sixth while we put this finger right here and we play sixth and second and then index on the third and the last note is going to be this finger right here number four on the third fret with the middle finger second string and so it's gonna go like this bass sounding on the sixth string. You leave this whole position the way it is. So I'm going to recap what we've learned today. It is like this. Starting from here. And then from that point, we're going to go and repeat again this whole section. Uh, I'm sorry, the section that we learned the first on the first video plus this. I'm going to play it together one time real quick so that you can hear it. And what we learned today back to the beginning so thank you guys I hope this helps and next time we will go into uh, the following section uh, the whole song has three sections so we're gonna see them in parts maybe we'll do a couple of videos per section so that it's easy uh, for you guys to learn thank you again for watching I hope you subscribe to our channel and uh, see you later